Foreign-owned Spaza shops in South Africa have become a focal point of controversy and concern in recent years. These small, informal convenience stores, often located in townships and rural areas, are typically run by immigrants from various countries, including Somalia, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Ethiopia. While these shops provide essential goods and services to underserved communities, they have also been implicated in the sale of illicit cigarettes and drugs, particularly targeting the youth and school learners. The issue of illicit trade in Spaza shops came to the forefront with several high-profile incidents. In October 2023, the civil rights movement, Not In My Name International, called for the closure of all foreign-owned Spaza shops, citing the sale of counterfeit goods and the tragic deaths of children who consumed tainted products from these shops. At least five children in Soweto and Ethembini in the West Rand died after allegedly eating snacks from foreign-owned Spaza shops. This incident highlighted the broader problem of illegal and unsafe products being sold in these establishments. The South African Police Service has been actively involved in cracking down on these illegal activities. In October 2023, the Gawuteng Counterfeit and Contraband Goods Task Team conducted raids in the West Rand, specifically targeting Spaza shops in the Swaneville and Kagizo policing precincts. During these operations, police confiscated a range of counterfeit goods, including cigarettes, expired food items, and other contraband. The raids also led to the arrest of 18 undocumented individuals, some of whom were found in possession of unlicensed firearms and ammunition. The sale of illicit cigarettes is a significant issue in these Spaza shops. According to a report by the South African Revenue Service, the country loses billions of rand annually due to the illegal cigarette trade. These cigarettes are often sold at a fraction of the price of legal products, making them attractive to young people and those with limited financial resources. The availability of cheap, illicit cigarettes in Spaza shops has been linked to increased smoking rates among school learners, raising concerns about public health and the long-term impact on the youth. In addition to cigarettes, there have been numerous reports of Spaza shops selling drugs to young people. These drugs range from marijuana to more dangerous substances like methamphetamine and heroin. The easy access to drugs in these communities has contributed to rising addiction rates and associated social problems, including crime and violence. Community leaders and parents have expressed alarm over the influence of these shops on their children, calling for stricter enforcement of laws and better regulation of Spaza shops. The South African government has faced criticism for its handling of the situation. Critics argue that the government has failed to effectively manage the country's borders, allowing illegal immigrants to enter and set up businesses without proper oversight. There are also concerns about corruption and the lack of enforcement of existing laws, which has enabled the proliferation of illegal activities in Spaza shops. In response, some communities have taken matters into their own hands, organizing protests and demanding the closure of foreign-owned Spaza shops. The South African Spaza and Tuck Shop Association, SASTA, has also weighed in on the issue, highlighting the challenges faced by local Spaza shop owners. According to SASTA, local businesses struggle to compete with foreign-owned shops that sell illicit goods at lower prices. This unfair competition has led to the decline of many locally owned Spaza shops, further exacerbating economic challenges in these communities. The problem of illicit trade in Spaza shops is not limited to South Africa. Similar issues have been reported in other countries with large immigrant populations and informal economies. However, the unique socio-economic context of South Africa, with its high unemployment rates and widespread poverty, makes the situation particularly acute. The presence of foreign-owned Spaza shops in townships and rural areas has become a flashpoint for broader debates about immigration, economic inequality, and social cohesion. Efforts to address the issue have included increased police operations, 
community awareness campaigns, and calls for policy reforms. However, the complexity of the problem means that a multifaceted approach is necessary. This includes better regulation of spaza shops, stricter enforcement of laws against the sale of illicit goods, and support for local businesses to ensure they can compete fairly. Additionally, addressing the root causes of drug abuse and smoking among the youth requires comprehensive public health strategies and community-based interventions. In conclusion, the issue of foreign-owned spaza shops selling illicit cigarettes and drugs in South Africa is a multifaceted problem that requires coordinated efforts from the government, law enforcement, community leaders, and civil society. While these shops provide essential services to underserved communities, their involvement in illegal activities poses significant risks to public health and safety, particularly for the youth. Addressing this issue is crucial for the well-being of South African communities and the future of the country's young people. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates.